Matt Reif can't seem to stay out of trouble following his controversial comedy special that left a lot of his fans upset with him and feeling like he doesn't respect them. And right now, things aren't looking any better for him with the way that he is now beefing with a child online and also their mom. It's a whole mess that went down this week, and I just don't know how he isn't embarrassed by how he's been defending his comedy special. But a couple days ago, this mom on Instagram named Bunny posted a Instagram reel of her son reacting to one of the jokes that Matt told during his comedy special, where he said, I'm so tired of you ladies blaming your poor decision-making skills on planets that don't even know you. Your future future is determined by your own thoughts, opinions, and actions. You are in complete control of how your future turns out. It has nothing to do with the stars, man. Just because Jupiter has a ring and you don't doesn't mean that's what you're supposed to look up to for this magical advice. In the Instagram reel, Bunny posted her son responding to Matt, correcting his planet knowledge, and made a dig at him being mean to girls. It's Saturn to ask your rings, and it has more also, and you're mean to girls. Honestly, the reel was cute and it was super harmless. It was an innocent video, but Matt was clearly very bothered by this and ended up commenting on the reel and said, Jupiter also has ring. Oh, and Santa Claus isn't real. Your mom buys you presents with the money she makes on OnlyFans. Good luck. The comment was later deleted, but Bunny ended up sharing a screenshot of it along with some words about how she felt when she saw what he had to say. Matt Rife has decided to start beef with my six-year-old child online. Yeah, you heard me correctly, my six-year-old child online. So, my name is Bunny Hidea, if you don't know me. Hidea means gift, and this is my gift to you, reading Matt Rife to Phil. Like Matt, I have a full female audience online. Although, I like mine. I don't want the men, you can keep them, please. I will gladly take your audience, because we know you can't satisfy them anyways. This all started when his comedy special, which if that's what we're calling comedy. All the things he said that weren't even funny were posted on TikTok and I started being tagged in them because everyone knows that my son is like a genius and he's really into space. I fiercely protect my child online. I'm not a family channel. People know his name, they know he likes space, they know he likes Minecraft, and that's pretty much it. Most people do not know any personal details about my child. And because of that, and because I have such a large audience, when I see people in person and when people see space clips, they tag me in them because they know that that's what he likes. I'm not the type of content creator that usually talks about other people or other things for views. I focus my content only on me because guess what, Matt? I'm interesting enough on my own. But I also didn't pay for my looks, so that's not really what people follow me for. If you look to the video on here, you can see that all the comments were like, Oh my god, he's so smart, he's so cute, like, oh my gosh, yeah! Girl pa Mind you, he's not tagged in it. I have no connection with him, and it was posted on a Netflix page. While you clearly took a lighthearted video and turned it into fighting with a six-year-old, let's talk about the comments that you said about me. This is my IG where he left the comment, okay? Do I look like I don't even show my body? For you to assume that every single woman online makes money by showing their bodies, which like, if that's what you do, girl, do you. Like, love it. I have never made a single dollar from a man. My audience is female, 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 female. And a little bit of the gays and nays. You can't accept the fact that people may like women for their personalities. No, you we know you don't have one. Do you stick to circle jerking the men that you need validation from? And I will gladly take your female audience that you so desperately want to get. You know it hurts because I'm richer than you and I didn't have to pay for a Forbes article to make it. And I really wish you luck on what's left of your career, but keep my child's name out of your mouth. We can do part two. She just has such a point about how clear it is that Matt doesn't respect women just from his comment back to her son. I mean, whether people want to believe his comedy special disrespected women or not, because some could say, well, he's a comedian. He doesn't mean what he says. It's all just jokes. Well, here we have this him using OnlyFans in his comment back to a kid in a negative way. Something about it just feels so ick because he's saying it as if it's supposed to be negative. So we can clearly see he doesn't respect women who get their money on there and also using it as some sort of comeback as if someone should be embarrassed by that. In itself, it just shows that he's looking down upon this. Which, like, she said she didn't even do OnlyFans, so him bringing that up was random and strange, like, very purposefully trying to use that as a dig when it shouldn't be, and also has nothing to do with anything at all, but give people more of a reason to look at him and think he doesn't respect women.
I don't know. I just think every time Matt has tried to defend his comedy special lately, it's just gone downhill for him. And it's crazy how offended he gets for someone who's tried to tell his own audience to stop being so sensitive and go get special needs helmets if they want to get all offended. Like we're talking about a six year old and he just corrected you on planet knowledge, which is valid and you want to get mad. Like, it's ridiculous. Truly embarrassing stuff. But this isn't the only thing that Matt has responded to recently, and there's been other times where people have told him that he's had no right to get all worked up about something because he's been the one that's been calling out other people for being sensitive. So in another situation where Matt has responded to someone online recently was when this plastic surgeon posted a TikTok. He was probably just hopping on the trend of roasting Matt Rife, but he never named him directly. People just kind of thought that it was about him. Me after he creating said, the greatest jawline ever seen just for my patient to get canceled right after. And his caption was, he shall not be named, hashtag cancel, hashtag jawline check, hashtag comedian, hashtag stand up, hashtag celeb. And the hashtags definitely were hinting at it was maybe probably Matt Rife, just since he was facing a lot of criticism following his comedy special. So all the comments were speculating whether or not it was about him. And it was also posted onto Instagram, which is where Matt ended up seeing it and commented, lying about medical history is illegal, just FYI. And people were like, wait, he didn't even directly mention you. And once again, brought up the fact that he was calling out people for not being able to take a joke when he clearly can't. And Brooke and Tana even talked about this on a recent podcast that Matt just brought himself into this one for no reason. I'm assuming the doctor was just like grabbing for views. I don't think he actually gave plastic surgery to Matt Rife, but he made a TikTok like when your client got a new jawline, but now he's getting canceled, like whatever hilarious to jump on the train i mean not hilarious but like i get jumping on the train and just being like this is an opportunity for views matt rife commented on his tiktok and was like lying about like medical is illegal blah 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 and all the comments back to matt rife were like so now who can take a joke one thing about matt rife is he is going to fight with somebody in a comment section yeah. and i get it yeah i do it and i have to stop myself from doing it because it's like it is it's so hard because i always look back on it and i'm like why the did you say that? That's so embarrassing. But I, you, you never once have had your brand be like, I'm not going to fight with you in a comment section. You know, like, like the way you are on this podcast, the way you are in life, you give, I'm going to fight with you in a comment 100%. section. 100%. Like he's online saying like, I don't give a fuck about what anyone says about me. And then you're fighting in a comment section. It's like the negating what you directly want your brand to be, I think is what's hurting. It is kind of hard to yeah, have this whole thing about like, you know, it's all a joke. It's all a joke. Yeah. And then. But actually, though, if you're judging someone for not being able to take a joke, but then you can't take a joke, it's not the best look. And it's for sure getting him in even more trouble than he already was in. I mean, even recently when he went on Jordan Peterson's podcast, he was defending his comedy special and talking about how people just couldn't handle his jokes and that he was standing by it and just talked so much about people who can't take a joke when he literally is online, not able to take one himself. It's just comedy. I'm just doing what's funny to me. It's never any deeper than that, nor should it be for anybody. I'm saying things that my imagination drums up that makes me happy, release endorphins in my head that makes my life happier. And all I do is share those thoughts with other people in hopes that it makes their life easier. Whether, whether you enjoy what I do or not, you don't even have to know it exists. If I'm your problem, if you and I are face to face and you have a problem with my comedy that I tell that I admit to the world, right? If you just remove yourself from me, if you do something as simple as just turn around, there is an entire planet behind you for you to go explore and live the rest of your life. You don't ever have to think about me. You don't have to talk about me. I don't like screamo heavy metal music. Mm -hmm. Guess how often I think about it or talk about it? Mm -hmm. Zero percent of the time. Mm -hmm. You just remove yourself from the situation. I don't. I see no harm in trying to make people laugh as a general um, intention. The whole thing is just so interesting. I mean, if he was out here and could make jokes about himself and how people are talking about him in his special and standing by it, clearly able to handle everything being said, that's one thing. But to joke about people being too sensitive and then being sensitive, especially when one of them is a literal child, it's not the best look. It's just embarrassing. But anyway, that's what's going on with Matt Rife. Let me know what you guys think about all of this, especially this situation with the child. Like, I just cannot believe he's like beefing with a kid. But let me know your thoughts. I love you guys so much and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye, guys. <laughs>